So Dr. Liss, could you tell me how myelodysplastic syndromes are diagnosed? What do you look for uh, in the patient or in the laboratory findings uh, to help you diagnose patients? And generally, we consider a, a diagnosis of MDS when we see generally an older individual that has persistent cytopenias or low blood counts. From there, uh, we'll look for other causes to begin with, like vitamin deficiencies, uh, folate or B12 levels. If those are normal, the next step really is to do a bone marrow and to inspect the peripheral blood smear. In other words, look at those cells specifically. Um, we expect to see the hallmark of the disease, which is dysplasia, um, the abnormal features of those cells, their abnormal maturation. And if we see that in 10% of the cells of any specific cell type, whether it's red blood cells, white blood cells, uh, or the platelet or clotting cells, that's sufficient to make a diagnosis of MDS. The other tests that we do uh, are chromosome studies, or what we call cytogenetics, to see are there chromosome abnormalities, which we see in about 40 to 50 percent of patients. And more recently, we'll, we'll look at uh, specific gene mutations that can help us not only diagnostically, but prognostically.